Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make the book. Um, the first thing you're going to do is to get a white printer paper. And after you get that, you're going to go ahead and fold it diagonally. From the top all the way um, to the bottom, make sure that all the sides meet. And make sure you press down. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a pencil and you're going to mark the bottom right where the paper uh, ends and you're gonna draw a line straight across. So you should have something that looks like this. Then you're going to go ahead and get your scissors and you're going to start cutting that uh, the line. You're gonna go ahead and make that fold again. And now I'm going to get a marker and I'm going to mark this line so that it's easier for you guys to see um, later on. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so you guys can see it easier. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your paper and fold it across again. And now you're gonna make sure that all of the edges meet. Make sure you press down on the fold. And again, just for the purpose of making sure that you guys see the fold, I'm going to go ahead and um, draw a line with the marker. You don't have to do this. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fold your paper in half and make sure you make sure that you meet all the sides and press down on the edge. Now what I want you guys to do, and I want you to do this with me, is I want you to get a pencil and I want you to draw that line that we just folded. And I'm doing this in a marker so you guys can see that line a little easier. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold that edge. You're gonna make sure it meets that middle line that you guys drew. And you're going to open it up. And again, with me, I want you guys to draw that line across. And you're doing this with pencil. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna make sure that we fold um, that edge against that middle line. And then one more time, I'm gonna ask you guys to draw a line right across with pencil. And again, I'm doing it with marker, so it's easier for you guys to see. So right now you should have at least three lines that are drawn. Now we're going to flip our page Make sure that the lines are going horizontally now. And then we're going to fold our paper in half again. And make sure you um, meet all the edges. And we're going to open it up. And one more time, I'm going to ask you guys to draw that middle line. And again, I'm doing it a marker so you guys can see. So go ahead and draw that middle line with pencil. And then just like before, we're going to get our sides and we're gonna make sure we meet that middle line and we're going to fold it. And just like before, I'm asking you guys to draw that line with pencil. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna make that fold meet the middle line. And make sure you do this neatly so that your edges meet. We're going to open it up. And then one more time, I'm going to have you guys draw a line with pencil. So at this point, you should have something that looks like this. Now the next thing that we're going to do is 
I'm going to mark where you're going to cut later on. So just pay attention on the marks that I'm doing. And if you want, you can do this on your paper. So draw a little dotted line and you're gonna draw a dotted line um, across. So it looks like a cross in the end. And then, so there's the cross that I was talking about earlier. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut against the, the dotted line that we just drew. So you should have something that looks like this now. Now I'm going to show you a couple examples side by side on what it should look like. So this is the front view when it's all nice and drawn. And this is the back view with the definitions of your principle and elements. And here's another example of a front view. And here's a front view and a side view side by side so you know how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fold it. The first thing you're going to do is against that diagonal line you're going to fold it back and you're going to get those two sides together. Make sure they meet and you're going to fold it down. Now you're going to get that little square and you're going to fold it back. And then again, we're going to get that diagonal line. We're going to fold it back. We're gonna press our finger in the middle so it's easier to fold. We're gonna get our two edges, make sure that they meet, and we're going to fold it down. And just like before, we're gonna get a little square and fold it back. And we're gonna repeat this until we finish. So one more time, get that diagonal line, fold it back. We're going to use our finger, press in the middle. We're gonna make sure that we meet the edges and we're going to fold it down. And once we get our little square, we're gonna go ahead and fold it back. We're going to, for the last time, get our diagonal edge, fold it back, press in the middle, get our edges, make, make sure that they meet, and then fold it down. So what you're left off with is this little square. That's gonna be your front and back cover. And when we open it up, we get something that looks like this almost like origami, three-dimensional. You can put it uh, however you want. But this is pretty much how it should look like towards the end. You can expand it and then make sure that in the end it goes back to its little square shape. Now here are a few examples of uh, the project of how it looks already completed. So you see the definitions in the back and the words and the drawings in the front. And that's it. You should have your book already finished.